Hello, I'm Barlow Brooks, and I'm happy to share with you information on the status of the construction project here at St. Luke's. Simply, the bottom line here is that construction is going really well, and completion's planned for May. It looks like we're going to get there on time, on budget. 2020 has been an exciting year for the construction and St. Luke's Church, despite some of the uh, less pleasant things that have been around all year. In 2020, a contractor was chosen uh, and began construction. And construction is going forward on this long planned project. When I say long planned, it's been a lot of work by dedicated people getting to the point we are. Some of those people who started the planning are with us still working, and it was started in 2002 or 2003. They've been involved with listing priorities needed by the church, space planning, architectural planning and design, and all the details up through design and permitting. Now, in 2020, the detail of what's gone on as since construction began is that foundations are all in. Lower level framing is complete. The upper level floor has been poured. The needed demo work in board hall is complete. New restrooms in the back of board hall are framed in, and the rough plumbing and the electric is all in. The lower level under board hall has been demoed as much as needed, and uh, reframing done to the new configuration uh, of what will be at that lower level. Stairs have been added from the lower level up to board hall. You'll be surprised to see when you, when you get into board hall or go into the lower level, uh, some change in configuration. Uh, the elevator shaft between board hall and uh, the sanctuary has been erected and a hole cut in the wall in the lower level where the elevator door will be. Foundations are all in for the new lower level entrance that will be between board hall and the sanctuary. The choir robing room has been demoed and is ready for renovation with all new cabinets for the robes and music. Areas for grass pavers for additional parking have been prepared and are settling. They're ready for the grass pavers and dirt to be added with grass uh, planted so that we have attractive but workable parking areas for overflow when our parking lots are not sufficient. The rear drive around the back of the church has been rerouted because of the addition. So there's a lot going on on campus here at, at church. Well, I talked about the design committee a minute ago, and the design committee is an outcropping that started with long-range planning and then developed to where we are. But what are they still doing today? And what have they done in 2020? They've selected all the interior design materials and colors, as well as selected and ordered all light fixtures and needed plumbing fixtures and cabinetry. They've selected and ordered all technology, the TVs and smart boards that will be in the 
classrooms and in the parish hall. Our new building has been considered and the space around it and how it will be different and how it will need new signage. So all the signs have been placed on campus or planned the space where they will be and the signs are designed and on order. Then there's furniture. All the furniture that we have has been inventoried and there is a plan for where it will be used and it, the committee is in process at this point of planning what additional furniture will be needed in the expanded facility. So in May, we'll be prepared. We'll be prepared for activities in our new and renovated facilities. An enlarged parish hall, adequate restrooms, handicap access, a nice well-equipped nursery, a youth room, and a flexible youth rooms, uh, excuse me, flexible rooms for classes and all kinds of meetings. So when we look at 2020, it's been a good year with a lot of progress for St. Luke's Church. Thank you for your interest and support of the church and look forward to getting together with you in our renovated and enlarged facility. Thank you.